<laughs> Go ahead. Uh, I'm here to, to help my sister out. Yeah. We're working on this project, on her project together. So if she could tell you about that. But I'm just here to learn. Miss Pointer, Teresa? You know, I'm, I'm sorry. Teresa last thing. Okay, okay. Who, who, who goes next? Okay. Uh, young lady. Okay. Coach? Hi, my name is Curtis Powell. Uh, I'm Chicago Fire Chief, 32 years. Uh, I love technology services. Uh, and we're all inside a great person. I've been a few years back, and uh, this technology is here to stay. I know that. And as, as a result of this technology, which, which Ty is bringing, Ty is bringing to us, there is an impact on us financially. Some of us on the weekend. But in order to access this technology, you have to come off the money. And it's a lot of money being spent in technology. And that's one of my things is to let people know that you can take part in some of that money. It's available to you. Whether it's through uh, uh, television services, I'll say cable, or uh, Comcast, or satellite TV, internet services, or cell phones, or home phones, and that kind of stuff. Uh, they bring these products to us. We pay for them, right? We pay out of our pocket. We do have an opportunity to gain money as a result of these companies bringing this technology to us. So I'd like to introduce that to, to for myself, and then especially this, uh, with, 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 and this a grab size hotel because he's just feeding us. He's, he's giving us this opportunity to spend our money. On technology. Well, you know, Coach, I grab I grab your hotel because I know what you're doing, and uh, every time that I've needed uh, uh, at, a, at a conference or something and they needed a, a technical information, I call coach and he'd come and, and, and not even with his hand out, to, just to come to help. You got to understand that's the new capital that you give now to let people know that you're legitimate, you are an expert and you give that. So that's what the young man was doing, Miss Pointer, when he, when he was giving you that right now. You wouldn't go to anybody else but him for that product right now, you know, because he's showing you that he's, that he's in your corner. And that's what Coach it did for me. Yes, sir. You have people that are here looking for jobs, and whatever, looking for opportunities to make money or whatever, but you're spending money. Get in front of your money. Anyone get in front of their money. Anyone. Your family members can get in front of your phone bill, your cable bill, your internet bill. You can do it. It's a knowledge that you need. And uh, we talk, we call it referrals and that kind of stuff. You can do it. You just tell them something. We all do referral business. I like to book over there and I get, find out a little bit more about your book also. And uh, referrals are very, very powerful. And through social media is work. These folks come in contact with us and have us spend money and we don't even know them inside. Like I say, come into our homes. You know, and uh, they make us call the cable company. I like Comcast, I call them direct. Well, who is direct? You get paid? You know? You get paid? You know? Who got paid? I don't know. You fed somebody's family. Well, put your family in front. So you have, you have your son or your daughter, whatever, become the salesperson and sell you that product as opposed to you going online and pick up the phone. So it's a very, very powerful thing to do with the social media. So we have two wealth building experts here today. Thank you, Coach. We have two wealth building, uh, Ms. Pointer. Uh, with a, a wealth uh, transfer, and, 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 and we have uh, Captain Powell. So these are two wealth building uh, initiatives that we have right in our, in our midst. So we need to listen to what they're saying and, and spend some money at some level. You know, if we have pain, we need to get in touch with the body mechanic. You know. If, if our children need uh, at the schools, if they need to bring people in to talk about nonviolence and, and self-esteem, Miss Mary, you know, catering, uh, Mr. Bulger over there, and he knows it at many, many different levels. Reggie you know everybody. I don't know why he's so quiet today, but you got to talk now, brother. <laughs> Go ahead. My name is Reginald Bulger, and I have a little advantage because I know personally, I live in a town where I grew up. Well, and he said, it really is. I mean, I said, what can I do to get myself the things I want to do in the black community out here? It's the first thing that came up. Really, I mean. And um, me and my wife got this. I'm blessed to have a wife 
that I can work with. She's been a travel agent for years. I've been a chef for years. So I want to get out there because when I hear the conversation with the community here, there's no blacks doing that, or he too high, he this. We don't research to find out what that person is really about. We listen to somebody else. We're not having the right conversations about it. So I want to get in to put my expertise to get to people, give them good food. I'm a chef at United Airlines, you know, and um, I want to get in to get people good food. My wife is a travel agency. We want to work that travel agency, help people out. Because as black people, we really don't know the computers and things. You know, they try to go online and do their own vacations. They mess up here or do something there. And you know, the white men don't do nothing to take your money. That's all they want. They don't care about what they do. So I want to get in and I started a corporation called We Grow Enterprises. And I want to put all the expertise I have and some other people just don't have to be 